Jesus. Father, speak to us tonight in this miracle Monday service. We have gathered in your presence to hear your voice. Father, let me speak your counsel tonight. Let your people be blessed. Let your people be empowered. Let me be your mouthpiece. Let me be your oracle tonight. Let your word in my mouth be fire. Let the hearts of your people be receptive. In the name of Jesus, let somebody leave this miracle Monday service and those that are watching me online let them know they have had an encounter with God tonight in the name of Jesus we leave our burdens at the feet of Jesus Christ Father speak to your people in the language they will understand saturate this place with your glory have your way Jehovah thank you for what you are about to do every garment of heaviness every garment of affliction be lifted in the name of Jesus. Let God arise tonight and let your enemies be scattered in Jesus mighty name. Shout amen. amen. I want to begin with the prayer of Jabez. Say the prayer of Jabez. The prayer of Jabez. Shall we turn our Bibles to First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 to verse 10. The prayer of Jabez. Now Jabez was more honorable than all his brothers and his mother called his name Jabez saying because I bore him in pain verse 10 and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying oh that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my, ter my territory that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil that I may not cause pain so God granted him what he requested in this month of June I heard the Lord say with clarity he is changing your story I see your story becoming your glory. There can never be a glory without a story. And to many of you that are seated here, people know your story. But I see God turning your story to glory. I see God moving you from poverty to prosperity. Ah, I see God moving somebody here, Razo Kadesh, from sickness to health, from joblessness to employment. Your story will change. And I want to look at Jabez. Jabez is a, a guy that was an ordinary man. And you know Jabez, because of the circumstances surrounding his birth, his mother named him Jabez, which means pain, or the son of my sorrow. So Jabez is a man that was named pain or sorrow. That is the meaning of Jabez, pain or sorrow. And as Jabez was growing up, everybody called him pain. Everybody called him sorrow. Nobody thought that Jabez would make it in life because of the circumstances that surrounded his birth. But I bless God that uh, our place of birth or our situation of birth does not determine our destiny. Anyone that is judging you by how you are brought up or by where you are coming from is making a big mistake because the God that we serve is not the great I was. He is the great I am. Look at your neighbor. Tell them you have my history. You have my history. Keep it. Keep it. I have my destiny. Yeah. My, destiny. my God, anyone that is judging you by your history is making a big mistake because your destiny is greater than your history. Where you are going is better than where you are coming from. So Jabez, because of the circumstances surrounding his father, his own mother named him Pain, the son of my sorrow. And Jabez grew up with this name. But one day when Jabez was mature he decided to change his life and his destiny and the Bible says and Jabez went into prayer and Jabez called on the God of Israel I believe in the power of prayer I believe that whatever begins in prayer it ends in power I believe whatever is rooted in prayer it cannot be uprooted by the hands of men a blessing that is rooted in prayer. It cannot be uprooted by the hands of men. A family that is rooted by prayer. A calling that is rooted by prayer. A breakthrough that is rooted by prayer. A job that is rooted by prayer. It cannot be uprooted by the hands of men. Miracle Monday family and viewers from around the world. I know you have been praying but I'm here tonight to tell you 
in this month of June, if you are ready for God to change your story, it is not just going to happen. You need to pray again. Shalabakadoza. I love prayer. You know, I observe the disciples of Jesus, and that is why I wrote the book on touching heaven through prayer. I observed the disciples of Jesus. They saw Jesus walk on water. They saw Jesus multiply food. They saw Jesus raise the dead. They saw Jesus cleanse leprosy with the touch. They saw Jesus open the fears. After they had seen all these things, Jesus walking on water. They did not say, Jesus, teach us how to do any of these things. But they said, teach us how to pray. And I began to wonder why. And I realized it is because for three years, the disciples observed the lifestyle of Jesus. And they discovered his lifestyle was a lifestyle of prayer. My God, there is power in prayer. I want you to know prayer is fellowship with God. Prayer is communion with God. Prayer is the meeting point between divinity and humanity. And if there is a man or a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. I release the spirit of prayer. I release the spirit of intercession. In the name of Jesus, I believe that victories are won on the knees. I came to challenge somebody if you want to change your destiny, if you want to change the course of your life, begin to communicate with God. That is why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all this things will be added. Receive the spirit of prayer. Receive the mantle of intercession. In the name of Jesus, this is the month to pray like never before. We are going to pray as miracle Monday until something happens. Pray until something happens. I know you've been praying and it seems like nothing is working and nothing is moving. But we are not giving up. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the days of Lucy Natasha. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent will take it by force. There is power in prayer. A prayerful man is a powerful man. A prayerful woman is a powerful woman. A prayerful youth is a powerful youth. A prayerful preacher is a powerful preacher. You can preach and perish, but you cannot pray and perish. Hey, my God, I don't know who I came for, but this month of June, we are going to ask God to intervene in our affairs through prayer. I see God intervening in your life. Somebody say, I receive. I receive. Shalabakados. So Jabez decided to change his life. And Jabez decided to call on the God of Israel. He decided to go into prayer. And there are four things that I want to mention that Jabez prayed for because these are four things on the first day, uh, or on the first miracle Monday service of the month of June that I want to prophesy over your life. Number one, Jabez prayed that you would bless me indeed. When I read this, I realized there are levels of blessings. You can be blessed and you can be blessed indeed. The word blessing comes from the Hebrew word Barak, which means empowered to succeed. When God says you are blessed, in other words, he is saying you are empowered to succeed. And Jabez said, may I be empowered to succeed indeed. I prophesy to somebody, this month of June, I declare you are blessed. You are blessed going in. You are blessed going out. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. Blessed in the morning. Blessed in the noontime. Blessed in the evening. I love the blessing of God because the blessing of God, according to Proverbs 10, 22, it maketh rich and it addeth no sorrow. May you be too blessed to be strong.
rest this month in the name of Jesus I pray for somebody here this month of June may God bless you until the devil can testify you are blessed may your business be blessed may your finances be blessed may whatever you touch with your hands let it be blessed in the name of Jesus I bless everything that is connected to you may the blessing of God follow you let it follow you wherever you go may the blessing of God find expression in your life this month of June your story is changing for better I see you blessed I see you blessed I see you empowered to succeed and I prophesy where others are failing you will succeed because of the blessing where others are rejected you shall be accepted where others are tolerated you shall be celebrated where others are judged you shall be justified where others are condemned you will be commended because of the blessing receive the blessing of God somebody say I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm blessed tell your neighbor I'm too blessed to be stressed sit down mm. And you know me, I love the blessing of God. When God decides to bless you, God is not a human being. He does not call a committee and ask, is it okay if we bless Natasha? And when God decides to bless you, it doesn't matter the opposition. It doesn't matter the resistance. My God, a blessing is an empowerment from God to do that which is not within your human abilities. This month you will do exploits. Somebody say, I receive. I receive. Number two, Jabez said that you would enlarge my territory. The word enlargement means to expand, to build. Oh, Razo Kadesh. That you would enlarge my territory. I am praying for somebody this month. As God changes your story, may God enlarge your territory. I prophesy you are going beyond. Somebody say, Oh God of Jabez. Oh God of Jabez. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. May God take you to places you never dreamt of or imagined of. I, I release your feet to go where you have never gone before. I receive. God is going to enlarge your territory this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, Lord. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. I see you, Razo Kadesha Ragados, in your career. God will take you where you could not take yourself. Mm, in your calling, I see enlargement. And you know, Razo Yahande Bashata. I am connecting this to the word that God gave us of open doors. I'm also seeing open doors. I'm seeing God enlarging you and opening international and local doors. You will go where you have never gone before. You will enter places you have never entered before. I see you walking in significant places. I see you walking in the corridors of power. Your doors for the nations are open. Somebody say open. Open. May God enlarge your territory. When you're talking about God enlarging your territory, it means God going, uh, God doing above the usual. Razo Kadesh. God doing above your expectation. May the God of Ephesians 3.20 visit you this month. May he do exceedingly, abundantly and above. I see the Lord enlarging your boundaries. If you have not been driving, we release that car. Mm. Yeah. If you've been single, we release the God ordained man or woman for your life. I see God enlarging your territory. If you've been looking for a job without success, may God enlarge your territory. May it all Razoya Kade. Somebody say God of Jabez. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. And number three, Jabez said that your hand would be upon me mm, my god look at your neighbor tell them you need the hand of god you need the hand of ah come on touch your neighbor tell them you need the hand of god you need the hand of god give two people a high five and tell them well you need the hand of god 
Mm, lift your hand and say, Lord. Lord. Come on, say, Lord. Lord. I need your hand. I need your hand. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. This month of June. This month of June. May your hand be upon me. May your hand be upon me. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Somebody say, I declare. I declare. The hand of God. The hand of God. Is coming upon my life. Is coming upon my life. Upon my business. Upon my business. Upon my finances. Upon my finances. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. As you are stretching your hands, I declare an increase by the hand of God. I declare increase of provision, increase of resources, increase of joy, increase of fulfillment, increase of purpose by the hand of God. May the hand of God come upon you. Those that are here and the viewers that are watching me, may the hand of God come upon you. The hand of God come upon your family, upon your children, and upon your business, upon your career, in the name of Jesus, I declare the hand of God will strengthen you. The hand of God this month will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, I declare the hand of God. May the hand of God come upon all your affairs. In the name of Jesus, somebody say the hand of God. The hand of God. My God, whatever you do this month, don't do it without the hand of God. Whatever you do, don't do it without the hand of God. Don't do business without the hand of God. Don't go to work without the hand of God. I don't know about you, but I said, Lord, I am not preaching without your hand. I'm not going to do anything without your hand. I need the hand of God. Razo Kadesh. The hand of God. Jesus and number four Jabez said that you would keep me from evil that I may not cause pain and God granted him what he requested I pray for you in this month of June may God keep you from evil we are living in an evil and a perverse generation and I pray for you that God will keep you from evil I declare no weapon fashioned against you and your family that shall be able to prosper in the name of Jesus according to Isaiah 54 17 no weapon no weapon fashioned against you oh, that shall be able to prosper in the name of Jesus I declare as the devil comes in one direction he will be scattered in seven directions in the name of Jesus I declare as the devil comes in like a flood the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard in the name of Jesus oh razo yande bashata that is why Romans 8 31 says what then shall we say of these things if God is for us who can be against us I declare God is for you that means heaven is for you that means heaven is on your side yeah somebody say Lord, Lord keep me from evil keep me from me say Lord, Lord keep me from evil keep me from evil I decree and declare Rosa Yakadosh I speak as an oracle tonight every plan every plot every scheme every agenda of the devil against your life and destiny I declare it will backfire in the name of Jesus I said it will backfire in the name of Jesus God will keep you from evil God will keep you from tragedies and calamities God will keep you from sicknesses and disease God will keep you from accidents God will preserve you I release the anointing of preservation may God preserve you and your family may God God preserve your destiny. May God preserve your children. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, keep me from evil. Keep me from evil. Even the evil plans of the wicked. May God keep you from evil. Yes. And I pray for you. Anyone engineering evil propaganda against you. I declare it will backfire in the name of Jesus. Oh. I speak confusion and darkness in the enemy's camp. May God keep you from evil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any evil campaign against your life and destiny, I scatter it in the name of Jesus. I receive. God will keep you from evil. And the Bible says, as I, as I conclude, and God granted him 
what he requested in this month of june i see god turning your prayer request into a praise report amen i see all your long awaited prayers being granted things that you prayed for my god this is a month of answered prayers i declare heaven will answer stand up on your feet and tell your neighbor heaven will answer heaven will answer tonight don't live here without the hand of god tell your neighbor neighbor the hand of god the hand of god come on prophesy to your neighbor with your eyes open say neighbor i prophesy with my eyes open hey, tell them i prophesy with my eyes open you will see the hand of god this month in the name of jesus tell your neighbor stop doing things without the hand of god don't do business without the hand of god don't do anything without the hand of god tell them neighbor the hand of god will make a difference in your life somebody say i receive may the hand of god be can you just lay your hands on yourself like this say may the hand of god be upon me whatever i do this month whatever i do May the hand of God be upon me. May the hand of God as I do business. As I do business. As I do ministry. As I do ministry. Everything that I do. Everything that I do. May the hand of God be upon me. May the hand of God be upon me. Somebody shout, I receive. I receive. Hallelujah. So don't do anything without the hand of God. Lift your hands above your head. Shalabakados. Lazo Yande Bashata. The Lord spoke to me with clarity that in this month of June, your story will change. Your story will change. And I just want you to pray this prayer point. I don't know which area in your life that you are desiring God to cause a change. I want you to pray this prayer point and say, Lord, change my story. Begin to mention that area where you want God to change your story. I hear the Lord say as you are stretching your hands to the altar, God is going to change your life. I said God is going to change your life this month. In the name of Jesus, I declare this month your story will change. The story of your life. I declare the story of your family. I declare there shall be a turnaround. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord say you will go places. My God, the anointing of enlargement is coming over the life of somebody. The Lord says you will go places. You will go places. You will go places. Razo Kadesha. Where they said you will never reach in life. Where they said you will never reach in life. I hear the Lord say you will exit it. You will exit it. You will exit it. Where they said you will never reach in life. Shalabakadoza. Likarababozeya ndabashata. Lekatalabazoya ndabashelebozeya. Yandobozakatalabazeya. Your story is about to change. Your story is about to turn around. In the name of Jesus, Rakadosh, I hear the Lord say, What you could not do in 10 years, you will achieve it in a few months. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. From tonight, people you do not know will rise up and help you. Your story is changing. Every form of frustration in your life is broken. In the name of Jesus, every form of frustration in your marital destiny, in your business, in your finances, I declare it is broken, it is broken, it is broken. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. 
shalaba hande lika raba babo say and shata somebody lift your hands and say after me god of jabez god of jabez arise and change my story arise and change my story say god of jabez god of jabez arise and change my story arise and change my story pray that prayer point not begin to tell god of jabez arise because he's the same today yesterday and forever god of jabez arise and change my career arise and change my family god of jabez arise and change my business arise and change my ministry arise and change my children god of jabez god of jabez arise and change my story let the sorrow in my life be turned to joy the name Jabez means sorrow I want somebody to pray let the sorrow in my life be turned to joy anything that has been stealing your joy I speak as an oracle I silence it in the name of Jesus anything in your life that has been stealing your joy I silence it in the name of Jesus shall bakados let the sorrow in my life be turned to joy pray this prayer point say oh lord oh lord change the story of my family change the story of my family from poverty to prosperity from poverty to prosperity in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus our testimony today comes from Betty who is testifying on open doors after you prayed for her. She says, I am here to testify of the good works of the Lord. Late March 2018, I started a business, but nothing was moving at all, to an, to an extent where my products were expiring. But last Monday, when Mama was praying and prophesying on Be Open, the very night, that e very night. Somebody say, Efafata. E Be Open. Be Open. Uh-huh. She says that very night, mm -hmm. she received a call for orders of her products, Mama. My God. So tell us, uh, so, you are, so your products were almost expiring. Yes, Mama. But after Miracle Monday, they started to call for orders. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for somebody here before I lay my hands on her. May your goods and services be in high demand. I receive. I said, may your goods and services be in high demand. I receive. It doesn't matter what you are selling. Razo Kadesh. I decree and declare. Oh, yes. Your goods and services will be in high demand. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare to all those that are in business. Oh, yes. This month, Razo Kadesh. May you sell like you have never sold before. I receive. May God give you clients from the north, from the east, from the west, and from the south. I receive. I declare no more struggle in business no more stagnation in business I every spirit of struggle in your business oh, yes. I command it catch fire fire on the basis of this testimony so it is after you left on Monday the very night that very night yes actually we were in the KBS uh, going home uh-huh and I received a call uh-huh but I said to myself, because I'm in the bus, I cannot hear her clearly. Uh -huh. So I reached at home, mm -hmm. and since it was late, mm -hmm. uh, I please call her, because she's someone close to me. Uh -huh. So she called me back and said, Betty, you had told me about your product. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, just bring them to my place. Amen. Full down payment. Glory to Jesus. So... I have been having liver problems. Uh huh. So I've been going to what are they called? Clinics mm -hmm. every Monday. So there is this Monday I decided to come here. Uh huh. Following you through uh, Instagram. Uh huh. So when I came, you prayed for us. Mm -hmm. And the next Monday I went for the clinic. Mm -hmm. My liver was. Oh. oh, somebody give the Lord a clap of faith. Yeah. My God, how long were you having this condition? For like three months three months so every Monday you are going to the clinic but after this Monday when you went what did what did the doctors tell you I went for the test mm -hmm. and it should function between 30 uh, 0 and 30 but mine was 70 something uh -huh. but when I went after now the miracle Monday mm -hmm. it was 15 
somebody shall fire. fire on the basis of this testimony oh yes i decree and declare oh yes any sickness in your body oh yes that has resisted medication oh yes i decree and declare oh yes the blood of jesus is against it now amen i declare be healed in the name of jesus amen i stand as an oracle oh yes i cancel every negative clinical report amen in the mighty name Jesus. Amen. Every verdict from the doctors. Oh yes. I overturn it. I overturn it in Jesus mighty name. Amen. She's in tears. Rose Ayamakadosh. How are you feeling now? I'm okay. You okay? So I also saw you wrote that you also got a job. Yes. Around the same time, I've mm. been looking for a job mm -hmm. because I'm I was not satisfied with where I was working. Mm -hmm. But yeah, last month, the end of last month, mm -hmm. I received my pay slip and I was like, oh, this is not my pay slip. Mm -hmm. But then I received, uh, I was called by the HR mm -hmm. and she told me I had received a promotion and okay. my, my salary now was somehow double. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love this God. Tell your neighbor, this God is too much. This God is too much. Promotion does not come from the east or from the west. Oh yes. But promotion comes from the Lord. Oh yes. On the basis of this testimony. Yes. Anyone that is here that is seeking for employment. Oh yes. I open that door in the name of Jesus. I receive. Receive gainful employment in the name of Jesus. I receive. On the basis of this testimony. Oh yes. Anyone that is praying for salary in